Yeah. So here we are, the kite journey about to start after a huge night, as you do. I'm joined by another regular guy, Charles. How you doing? Charlie is definitely still full of beans. We're going to see how he goes when he's getting body dragged across the sandbar. Meet our lovely coach. How's it? And we're going to take you through the journey of not getting hit by a gate while I film and uh, learning how to kiteboard for the first time. Can you believe it? I've never kiteboarded. I me mean, neither. I'm looking forward to it. And they're telling me that we should be up and riding by this afternoon. It's full of bravado. Full. Your nappy? My, my nappy? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. you After last night, I might need it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks like a proper bucket seat. That's a bit better. Safety gear. Safety first. Now we're getting into the proper mix. This is so they don't lose us. <laughs> Over the horizon, apparently this is the <laughs> Grom. This is the Grom kit, bro. Grom. <laughs> ah, grasshopper. <laughs> it's on your back, dude. <laughs> you look at turn around. Yeah. Master. 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 Let's see what it says on the back of your one. Uh, another grasshopper over here. The car. This is so weird. Things are getting serious. There's a lot of people around, so I'm a bit nervous about that. Coach says we're fine. Charlie, it's all on you, bro. You've been up already on the board at once today. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty pumped. A little bit nervous, like you said, boys on the water all over the place. But I think I'm, uh, I think I'm ready to, to head it and see if I can make it to the other side and back. Uh, plain sailing, really. What do you think, Coach? <laughs> <laughs> that, Sorry. That's the response you want from your coach right there. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see what happens. Some guy brought your board back, bro. Some guy brought your board back. Awesome. <laughs> Woo. How's it feeling out there? It's a bit nerve wracking coming down one way, the other way is perfect. But this way, not so good. That way, super, super duper. <laughs> Watch, 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 watch. Yes. And I got that on camera. 
Yeah, I feel like she hit like little spurts. But I'm feeling stronger on the kite, so that's good. So, yeah, I got the opportunity to go and do this kiteboarding lesson for two days um, in Langebaan um, at a school called Wintown. I, had, I really didn't know what I was getting into. Well, I was super amped when we arrived in the morning of, on the Saturday morning to go and do it. I must say I was first from taken aback in terms of the professionalism and the friendliness at Wintown. We got handed over to an instructor called Caroline. Caroline took us downstairs to where all the kites were and all the safety equipment and that's the first time I really got an introduction to kind of what we're going to go and do. Um, a little bit of butterflies, we put on the safety equipment, went down to the beach um, and we started going through all the different things that we needed to understand around safety first. I guess that was the one thing that was drilled in first and foremost. Um, setting up the kite and that it, you know, you see these guys flying around and you think it looks pretty easy and you start to realize how actually complex this is and the, how lucky you are to actually having someone teach you about this and, and the learning around it. And yeah, the first day was super technical, understanding how it all works, how to fly the kite, um, how to keep it in the power zone. Um, and then I guess, you know, at the end of the first day, I was pretty apt to try and get up on the board and we would have been doing body drags. Um, so I gave it a shot with a, with a kite, with, they later told me on, on a 12 meter line that probably very difficult to get up on the board. On the second day we arrived a little bit later um, and, we, and we set up the kites on the beach um, and then we started, we started like really starting to feel the butterflies, I was kind of nervous. Also there were a lot more people around and, and once again it just struck me how dangerous the sport is. I mean, you know, and how lucky we were to be doing it with an instructor. Uh, Caroline was fa fabulous, she, you know, she helped us all the time, she guided us, she showed us where the other guys were maybe making mistakes. Um, and we actually had one close encounter, the kite came down and I, I did kind of lose my, lose my stuff a little bit on, on that when it came down near me. I got really, really scared. And I once again realized that I was like super glad that we were following a process in terms of doing this. And I, and I must say that without that, I would never ever go and venture off to do anything like this. So anyhow, we got the board on our feet. We got told exactly how to do it. We did some body drags with this big, with a big kite and the, and the full length lines. And your buttons could like immediately feel the power and what was going on over here. So after we'd done a couple of body drags and got familiar with the big kite and the full length lines, just off to try the long, uh, try the board. And that was when it really got exciting. Got up on the board, flew across to the other side, and the, just the stoke inside of me was just unbelievable. I can understand now what, what, what it was all about. So I was super, super excited. Anyhow, from the rest of the day, at the end of the day, I, all I can do is look back and, and just say, big shout out to Wintown. For anybody who's ever gonna do this, I must say, I, I, don't, I don't believe there's any other way of doing it. The setup that was there was mind blowing. Uh, if I was going to do kiteboarding again, or I was going to recommend it to anybody, that's the route that I would take. It's got great, Caroline was fabulous, the instructors were great there, it was professional, they were courteous, they were friendly, and it, and it just felt like you were in good hands. And when I looked at some of my other people on the beach and what they were doing, oh my gosh, it just looked like a mess. So, thanks very much, up and riding on a kiteboard, I have one more lesson to go and then I can really hire a kit myself. I feel like I've got an international certificate in terms of what we've done. Um, and yeah, I mean, I would just recommend this is the only way to do it. Big shout out and thanks once again, guys. So stoked.